I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know where to start with these things. I saw the ads all over Facebook saying these could eliminate distortion from our ears. And I finally got annoyed enough that I decided to order a pair and figure out what the heck they are, so let's unbox them, I guess. Before we unbox the earplugs, I want to quickly complain about the purchase experience. I didn't get a tracking number or any way to tell when my package was supposed to arrive, just an estimated delivery based on what continent you live on. To be fair, I did get them in that window, but it was still a wait of over two weeks, which was annoying to say the least. On to the unboxing experience. The packaging is pretty understated, a recyclable cardboard envelope. Inside are the two small earbuds, a small mesh case for them, and a short instruction book. The mesh case is really neat and handy, and probably a cheaper solution than the metal cases that a lot of other manufacturers use, though if you'd like, you can get a metal case for $7 from Flare. The mesh case is on the bigger side, at least compared to the earplugs, but it's still easily pocketable. The earplugs themselves are small and made of gray silicone with the Flare Audio logo on one side and a short tab, which is presumably to make removing the earplugs easier. Before we actually try these out, let's talk about the claims that Flare Audio is making with these earplugs. To be honest, there are a lot of claims. There doesn't seem to be a cohesive marketing strategy here. The main claim that caught my attention was that these would remove distortion in the ears. They also claim to improve sound quality from speakers, reduce stress, and eliminate tinnitus. I want to be clear on something. The claim that these remove distortion is pretty much BS. Distortion is a change to a signal that is unintended. This can come from digital compression, analog hardware, speaker systems, the playback environment, and basically anything else the audio interacts with. A physical device in your ears can't reverse distortion introduced before the sound reaches your ears. It's physically impossible. What flare means when they say these reduce distortion is they reduce the way our concha, a part of our outer ear, shapes sound. The way our ears shape sound is important and not unintended. Studies have shown that the resonances introduced by our ears help us understand speech and determine where sounds are coming from and alert us to objects that may cause us harm. Flair's angle is that reducing those resonances improves perceived sound quality and reduces stress. All right, let's try to put these in. So based on the image in the manual, I think we're gonna go in like that and like that. Okay, that doesn't really feel secure, but I guess they're in. These things really don't fit amazingly, but I've always had struggles wearing earbuds, so it may just be my ears. Anyway, let's do some listening. Okay. So I'm back from listening, and I think I've got an idea what these things are doing. Fortunately, the handy booklet, Flare Audio Included, has a short chart that backs up what I'm hearing. These earplugs are basically just reducing the amount of higher frequencies that reach our inner ear. That makes sound duller and removes a lot of the life from it. Especially for music, you lose the high-end shimmer like drum cymbals while wearing these. Personally, I'm not a huge fan, at least for music listening. According to Flair, the high frequency reduction is done by using a waveguide to eliminate resonances in the concha, which they say makes sound distorted and stresses it us out. To be fair, there's nothing wrong with these claims other than perhaps using the term distortion. An independent consultancy report by the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research backs up Flair's claims and my observations. The overall level reduction sounded like about 3 to 4 dB, which is a slight decrease for those curious, about one click of the volume rocker on your phone. The reduction in specifically the high frequencies was more like 6 to 10 dB, which is about a 50% reduction in volume. Again, the data published by ISVR confirms what I'm hearing. The ISVR report also shows a roughly 5.7 dB reduction in distortion. Again, we're assuming the way our ear naturally shapes sound is distortion here. Also, the ISVR report actually shows how you're supposed to wear these. Apparently I was doing it wrong. Not that they sound any different when worn properly. So what are my thoughts? Wearing these feels a bit like I'm drunk. Everything feels a little distant and muffled, which to be fair it is. 
Like Flair says, this reduces the high frequency sensitivity that we developed to help us survive. Unfortunately, that sensitivity is how we determine where objects are, like for example, passing cars. That, in my opinion, makes these earplugs downright dangerous to wear in certain environments like hiking or jogging on the street. Can they reduce stress? Well, if you get stress from noisy environments, they're not a terrible thing to have. Like I said, they do reduce the overall volume of high frequencies, but they don't reduce lower frequencies below 1 kilohertz at all. That means these won't do much in an environment that has a lot of lower frequencies like a club, industrial environments, urban streets, and, well, pretty much most places. You'd need an actual pair of earplugs that has full spectrum reduction for that. Speaking of your typical broadband earplugs, you can get a really nice pair of those for the same price as the calmer earbuds. If you're fine with a cheaper option, you can get a pair for less than a third of the price. A pair of earplugs which will not only reduce high frequencies, like the calmer earplugs, but will reduce all frequencies, presumably which are causing stress as well. They'll also help prevent hearing loss from sound exposure, something that can't be said about the calmer earplugs. Normal earplugs don't change the way your ear is capturing sound, so your brain can adjust to the lower level without losing intelligibility or a sense of where sounds are coming from. If these existed in a vacuum, well, they'd be really cool and might even be worth recommending. To be honest, they are neat in how they function and were clearly well designed, I just don't see what they do that would make them better than a normal pair of earplugs. I think Flair is having those same thoughts. Like I said, they clearly aren't very confident in how they're marketing these things. Calmer has even admitted themselves that they don't understand how their product is helping people with tinnitus. If you think these earplugs might help you, and all the reservations I've stated here don't bother you, then buy them. Otherwise, I'd recommend going for a more standard hearing protection option or nothing at all. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this one, please hit that subscribe button.